Hello everyone, in today's video, we're going to build an AI agent for our IntelliJ IDE by using MCP Model Context Protocol in Cloud Desktop. At the moment, Cloud Desktop is only available in Mac OS and Windows. So if you're using Linux, it's not yet supported. So in order to finish our demo, we'll need both IntelliJ IDE and Cloud Desktop. The IntelliJ IDE here could be the community version or ultimate version, it doesn't matter. In this video, I'm going to use the community version to make sure that we can play with it totally free. Okay, first of all, we need an account for Cloud AI. So you can accept Cloud AI page here. If you don't have an account, then just type your email here and follow the instruction. It will require a phone number. I'm not going to show it here because I only have one phone number and I already registered using it. But it should be easy. Secondly, we need to install Cloud Desktop. Here, Cloud Desktop. Here we only have two supported OS is Mac OS and Windows. So just choose the appropriate one and download, install, open it and login into it using your account. I assume that every step will be okay. So we will end up with the cloud desktop like this here. So as you can see here, I'm using a free plan with cloud 3.5 Haiku model. Anyway, feel free to upgrade to pro plan if you like 3.7 Sonnet. Here, I just wanted to show free plan is also enough to play with MCP. Okay, then let's play with it a little bit. All right, let's add. Check out my project in the IDE and give me all the supported ABI of the project. You see, due to high demand, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet is temporary and available. Okay, for free plan. Anyway. So I apologize, I cannot direct accept or check out projects in an IDE. So basically at the moment, uh, the cloud desktop is not able to accept our internal IDE here. Now let's install the MCP server plugin in our internal IDE. Okay, then we have to go to setting and we have to search for plugin. Here in plugin, go to marketplace and we are going to search for MCP server. Here, MCP server from yes brand, right? Okay, just install it. Fly. Okay. So now we have MCP server running. And head back to the plugin. Okay, we have MCP server plugin here and we're going to the GitHub repository. Here is the GitHub repository. Then we need to use this one, the MCP server, and config it in our class desktop. Okay, let's copy it here. And then we back to our class here. Then we are going to class setting, then developer edit config. Then it will redirect us to the config file. Let's open this config file. Uh, Tom, for example. And then I'm going to paste here. MCP server, just friend. Okay, paste and save. Okay, it's save. And then back to our cloud desktop. I'm going to restart it. So we have to close it, let's close it, and cloud quit. Then I'm going to open it again, cloud. And now we need to double check our setting. Again, go to setting, go to developer, and now we're going to see just friend is running. Okay, now our setup is finished. Let's try to act this again. Check out my projects in the IDE and give me all the supported API of the projects. 
okay now you see there's something right okay okay so now it's start you know like checking your projects just allow this allowed okay now you see this different right you see a hammer here and it said that that at the moment 28 mcp tool available yeah and this tool is from dress brand okay from silver dress brand that we just installed at the plugin in the intellij okay but uh this is not really what i'm looking for i want sonnet i don't want haiku but anyway uh let's try to hold the controller explain old the controller of this project okay so we have a rating controller right uh, rest controller blah 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 okay so anyway uh, for example now I would like to like to add a hello endpoint endpoint that return hello and another you know, I'd like to add a hello endpoint that returns a hello and another endpoint for WebSocket at slash WS, something like that. Okay, now you see we have another hello controller, right? Uh, okay. And now we have the WebSocket config. And a WebSocket controller. Okay. It's also provides us with the sec WebSocket uses a symbol here. Okay, okay. Yes, yeah, just something like that. Uh, but this one is not added automatically to the project. Okay. So I, I to be honest, I not really expect uh, in this model high cool. But yeah, it's kind of interesting, right? So you can play with it, and yeah, feel free to yeah do anything you want here. Yeah. Okay, so far so good. Let's do another demo uh, to see how MCB work with the file system. Okay, I'm going to plot setting developer just brand I edit config. Then it's direct me to the config again. Then in the config, I'm going to add the file system MCP server. Here I'm going to add the file system, right? File system part. Sprint file system. And this is the absolute part to my desktop. For example, my desktop and my download. Okay, let's say I don't need the lot, I only need to give the asset. Give it the asset to my desktop, for example. And that's it. I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to restart it, quit again, and open it again. Now I have two NCB server, just friend and file system. And when you take at the tool here, then you will see you know some tools for file system now available here as well. Okay. And I would like to copy the OAuth to configuration from my OAuth to plan demo report that I put it in the desktop to this high service project.
okay so you see that it's going to try to <laughs> do many things uh, okay so even though they, they encountered an error and they did try a different way right but in the end that we're going to have the off to configuration here <laughs> the scott beat from the context of file system to the context of IntelliJ IDE right for me it's kind of impressive and then it's opened it opens a lot of chance to improve the ability in futures for example all right well that's pretty much it for this video i hope you get something new out of it thank you so much for taking your time watching this video and as always see you next time happy coding